Hi everyone. So today we're going to begin looking at sources and as we look at our sources, we're going to use the bookmark to help us think through the different pieces and also to help us focus on answering this central question. So for this investigation, it's how did the Inca maintain control over such a large empire? And so as we look at our source, the first thing we're going to do is look at our head note and attribution and we're going to circle anything that tells us who said drew or wrote this source when and where it was said, drawn, or written, what type of source it is, why was it said, drawn, or written, or for whom was it created. So I'm going to start down here with the attribution. Modified from Royal Commentaries of the Incas and General History of Peru, Book 1. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to circle this title because it tells me it's some sort of history book on the Inca and book four, written bar by Garcilaso de la Vega. So I'm going to circle this name because I know this is the author of these stories and it's commentaries of the Inca. So I'm assuming he's an Inca, but I'm going to check that when I get to my head note. In 1609. So I'm going to circle that date and I know that's about 40 years after the conquest of the Inca. Translated by Harold Livermore in 1966. And I'm going to circle him and I'm just going to make a note that he's a translator because it's always important to note when people translate, words are going to change a little bit or the message might change a little bit. So it's always important to note that. So take a minute and read the head note and try to circle any of the who, when, where, what type of source, or why it was created you find in the head note. So now I'm going to move to my as you read the source questions. And for this source, I'm going to look at what people are mentioned and what parts of the source tell me what the author or people in the text think, want, or experience. And I'm going to start with this first paragraph. The Inca ruler, Manco Capac, settled his people in villages. So I'm going to underline this first person I came across. And I know he's a ruler. And I also know that he was a ruler in the first empire around the year 1200. He taught them to farm, build homes, and make irrigation channels. Because I know we're talking about Manco Capac, anytime I see he in this paragraph, I'm going to note that it's talking about him and the things he did. He also instructed them to treat one another as they would want to be treated. He chose a local leader for each town or tribe he controlled. So I'm going to underline these local leaders as people that he's talking about. He expected these leaders to instruct the local people as fathers do their children, and he ordered the Indians to obey them. So I have a lot of people bumping into each other here. I have the Indians, who are the local people, and he wants them to obey them, them being the local leader for each town. So take a minute and look at the next two paragraphs and try to answer those same two questions. Now that you've read through these paragraphs, Try to answer number one. What does Gar Garcilaso de la Vega help you understand about how the Inca maintained control of such a large empire? Next, I want to think about how reliable is this source or unreliable is this source. So I'm going to look at the back of my bookmark, which is reasoning about the evidence. And for reliable, I'm going to look at this question, was the person who created this an insider or an outsider? And I know from my head note that de la Vega was half Inca and he assembled stories from the Inca from his mother's side of the family, which was the Inca side of his family. So that's putting him in the position as an insider. Take a minute and see if you can come up with another way that this is a reliable source about the Inca. Now I want to think about how could this source be unreliable. 
And so this question says, was the source created at the time when the events happened? So I know the source was created in 1609, but that he's talking about someone that lived in 1200. So that's about a 400 year difference. Take a minute and see if you can find another way this source might be unreliable. Lastly, I'm going to box the parts of the source that help me think about the central question. How did the Inca maintain control over such a large empire? So in this first paragraph, I'm going to box that the ruler settled his people in villages and that he chose a local leader for each town. And I think that's an important piece of information about the central question because it means he had his people or his representatives all throughout his land. See what else you can box in the rest of the source that helps you answer the central question.